Hello everyone, today I wanted to share a Nordstrom anniversary sale haul part two, as well as my top picks and favorites that are all in stock right now as of when I'm filming this. I recently shared a full try and haul of a lot of outfit ideas in part one, if you guys wanna check that out after this video. But this video is gonna be really fun too because it's a combination of what I ordered online, which is some of my beauty products, um, sh lots of shoes and favorites in this video, or just all the top picks. It was kind of hard to even narrow it down for this video to my top favorites, but some of it I did not include, whether it was because of stock issues or just because there were so many, I just sadly had to narrow it down, but there are so many good favorites in either video. Well, let's get started. It will all be linked below in the description box. If you're on a mobile device, you just tap the title of the video. Everything will expand there. Let's get started with beauty. First up is this Dior gift set. I was so excited about this because it has the cute little pink pouch that's included. This comes with quite a few products and both, there's two of them that are full size and then there's one mini. So. How adorable is this pouch that it comes in? It's the cutest little pink pouch. So it has the full size Reviver lip balm, the lip glow, the mascara primer, and a full size Dior mascara. I thought this is the perfect little treat yourself kind of gift to yourself or perfect for the holidays or any birthday gifts. Next is the Le Labo fragrance trio. So you get three scents in here into this box. I already put one of the perfumes on today. Um, I already own the Santal 33. It's a little bit larger than this size. I just recently got it because um, in New York, I had tested two of the three scents here already. So I already knew I liked two out of the three. So I had, love the Santal 33 and the Matcha 26. I have not tried another 13, but I have heard amazing things about all three of them. I actually heard a lot of buzz on TikTok about these scents and they are truly so amazing. I know um, they're very popular in France and a lot of people wear Santal 33. And truly, once you spray it, let it sit for like five minutes and they are the most amazing smelling perfumes. I have Matcha 26 on right now and it smells so good. I actually had the tester from New York in my purse and my my bag still smells like the perfume. So if you've been wanting to test these out, this is a great set. It's literally called Discovery Set, so it's a great way to try out some different scents. And these are also nice for travel if you already have the larger sizes. Next are hand creams. I actually got two different sets. I think these make great gifting sets on their own. So I currently have, this is my necessary hand cream right now. It is almost out, so I had to restock. So the Necessary hand cream, it's fragrance free and it's really nice and rich and luxurious, but it's not greasy. Um, and it's very like clean ingredients in the Necessary. I love their shower gel too. So I got this, it comes in a two pack. So you could also like separate this and break it up into like keep one for yourself, gift one, or keep both for yourself or gift both of them. So it's really nice value. And then I also grabbed this L'Occitane. I love their hand cream as well, but my mom really likes it. So I might gift it to her, but this is only $37.50 and you get three pieces. So you get the large hand cream, you get a mini hand cream. They're both the Shea Butter one, which is the best one. And then this also this cuticle oil. So it's like a nice like little manicure nail care kit. So this is a perfect gifting option, especially for the holidays. Next up is this Osea Duo. So this is called the Anti-Aging Body Balm Duo. I actually just got this in to try and I used this one yesterday. So this is what it looks like. It's in glass, so it's beautiful packaging. It feels so luxe and nice. Um, this is literally like it says it is, it's a balm. So it's not like your average like lotion or body butter. Um, it has a nice consistency to it. It's a little bit richer than a like moisture, a regular moisturizer would be, but I could even see this being great layered. So what I plan to do is put the balm on first and layer a body butter on top because I have very dry skin. And I just noticed um, that this was really, really nice. Made my skin very dewy and glowy, but without feeling greasy, which was really nice. And the scent was very light and um, yeah, I heard this is very clean beauty. So I'm really excited to find this and the duo is a great value. Okay, this I have not tried yet, but I have used the Bobbi Brown Shadow Sticks before, just not in these colors, but I'm very excited. I thought these looked really pretty. Oh, so this is actually like four colors in one. Um, so you get the color Dusty Mauve, Stone, Golden Pink, and Nude Beach. I will swatch them all. You'll have a little overlay to see them, but these look absolutely beautiful. I love a good shadow stick. It's an easy like 
throw it on and blend it out really quick with your fingers and go. Um, so if you're looking for an easy eyeshadow routine, these would be great to try. Next, let's do handbag because this is the one and only handbag. I did get a belt bag, but it's sadly already sold out. So this is the only one I'm going to share out of like my top picks because this is what I truly just what caught my eye the most is just this coach bag right here and i think this is stunning for fall so it's a cross body but i have to say for being cross body it's a pretty generous size one of you guys asked how much fits inside so i figured i would share i brought a few items out to show you guys what fits so this um is the sony clover small pouch if you're not familiar it measures 10 inches by 5 inches and it's a pretty generous size pouch and so inside the bag, it, I mean, I wouldn't use this in here particularly because it's a little big for the bag, but it does fit very comfortably inside. And I still have room on the sides. So you could fit a pretty large pouch in there. Like I said, I don't think I would choose that necessarily to put in there, but just for reference, here's like a little mini Sony Clover, like a sunglasses case. You could definitely fit a full size wallet very spaciously in here. So, um, that fits you can see it barely takes up any room and you still have all this room here and You get the when you zipper it up you have like the little top handle and then this long strap right here is You can like remove it. So if you want to take that off and Oh, this still has like the little plastic I have to take that off but um, you could just have it like this one strap here and make it a shoulder bag and it looks really pretty with the gold detailing on the side so you could wear it as like a little shoulder bag too not just a crossbody so i think it's really versatile which is why i chose this one and it even has the little coach emblem charm here on the side let's move on to tops actually i'm going to share what i'm wearing right now i got ordered this online they didn't have it in the store i have to say the online has obviously everything compared to the store because in store they said they only had about like 30 percent of what they have online at least in my store and the king of prussia store that i went to is a pretty big store they usually have a lot of stock um, and they still only had 30 percent so i um, highly recommend online if you want to sh find the best way to shop with the most stock potential it would probably be online um so yeah anyways i got this ribbed ruffle top from a brand called page i love that brand i got a top from page last year and it's actually in this very similar material it may even be like the same material as last year because i had like a long sleeve top and they may have just like reused that material to make it into this kind of top so maybe that's why i loved it so much so i thought this was so pretty with a little ruffle um i'd say if you're in between size up in this top i'm wearing my regular size but i could see it's pretty like form-fitting so i would size up as one size especially if you have like a larger chest um otherwise i'd say true to size okay next top i did not expect like i didn't have this on my wish list at first until i saw i like, felt this quality in person and then i was absolutely loving it it is this cami from good american and i love the quality so it's so such a nice thicker material and it has the lining on underneath so then you won't see any bra lines or anything so great quality feels super comfortable on it does have the adjusters in the back for the straps and i love this cream color i believe this came in a few other colors but it's such a good wardrobe staple definitely in my opinion worth the price especially if you think about cost per wear for a cami because you could literally wear this in so many instances really any time of year it's a seasonless piece since we're on the subject of good american i figure i'll just show you guys this sweater so um this one um is like a cream sweater it's ribbed and i thought it was a really nice soft plush material and it's like a good just like quintessential sweater it's a just your everyday basic that i think could be styled with so many different colors in your wardrobe and accessories okay this is like so basic but yet i think it is gonna be one of those things i could reach for a lot it is this caslin ribbed v-neck they call i think they i wanted to say they call this a sweater but i think it's just like an everyday soft rib top and it is really cute in this like pink smoke color i think they call it and it comes in a, quite a few other colors and this one it was 29.99 regular 45 so um i think for under 30 i think it's a beautiful everyday top a good staple again you could wear it over and over and then this other top, I just got it in the mail actually this morning. So um, this is a sweetheart neckline, little sweater with a little button detail. I thought this was so darling. 
and it has the puff sleeves and I think this feels so soft. It doesn't feel itchy or scratchy and it is, I think a really pretty, very girly top. And then another top I almost forgot to show you guys is this thermal. I love getting thermals every year on the sale. I got a cream one last year. I got this pink one. I think this is called pink smoke if I'm not mistaken. Um, the price was $29.99, regular $50. So $20 off. And I thought this thermal was so soft and comfy. And it has like a little teeny V in the front. But a good base layer for a lot of outfits. If you saw my haul part one, you have seen these boots. But I can't get over how good these are. So these boots I did not even know about until my sales associate um, shared about them with me and she's like did you ever hear of aqua talia and i was like no and she's like you need to try out their boots because they are weatherproof so the i looked into the brand and they are known for their shoes being weatherproof so whether whatever kind of weather you're get, going through they are waterproof and stain proof so i was really intrigued by that these i have a feeling are gonna go out of all the boots i'm gonna share these are probably gonna go first um they're great amazing quality and I just feel like they're gonna be that boot I'll have. It's a silhouette that's not gonna go out of style. And they're beautiful. I love the color. I think they're gonna go with all the neutral tones in my wardrobe. They have the inside zipper, just a shorter heel, so add some height, but nothing too steep. So they're a good everyday boot. And these I found, I'd say if you're gonna wear a thick sock, it depends. If you like to wear a thick, thick sock with these, and I would size up one size. Um, otherwise I would then go with your regular size if you just like a thinner sock um, so yeah I would try either like a half to full size if you want a thicker sock I might as well share these because they're the same brand Aquatalia here so I got the heeled shorter booties and these I thought were super chic and fun for fall I love the silhouette of these so these totally elevate not just in height, but they elevate the look of your outfit with the whole silhouette and style. Um, again, inside zipper, again, waterproof, weatherproof, stain proof. I'm just really excited about these. So these are gorgeous. And these I got my regular size in. And so I personally didn't feel like I, I think maybe because they're a higher heel. Um, but yeah, I got my regular size in these. So these I had already had on my wish list. I may have to then just spray these down with like a treatment spray. If you guys have any favorites, let me know. Um, these are by the brand Steve Madden. And I thought these were a nice lighter neutral boot, something a little bit different and more casual. Um, they kind of have a Western vibe to them. And I thought this would look gorgeous with dresses, especially in skirts, but also would look cute with jeans too. Um, and it has like light gold detailing on them. So these look really, really cute. Okay, I had already purchased these boots. I made an online order before I went into store and I didn't expect to see those Aquatalias. So I'm not sure I may return these. I'm not sure now because I have the Aquatalias and I think those are the ones I'm gonna go with compared to these. But initially I thought these were gonna be like my staple taller boot, but now I think it's gonna be the other ones. I don't know. But if you're looking for, um, something around like under the $200 price point. These are gorgeous. I would just spray these with a treatment spray um, just to prevent like, you know, that suede material from staining. Um, but these look so beautiful on. And then I had just ordered these to compare just for either or to try. Uh, this is the leather option. They're in a cream and Again, same silhouette, just in the leather option. So they do have different materials as well. If you prefer something like the leather to be a little bit smoother um, and not quite as finicky with certain, you know, with a rainy day or something, this would be more of a better option. Okay, this is the last pair of boots I'm gonna share. I have some like cozier boots to share and mules and all the other shoes to share. Um, I'll do that in a little bit, but just to like break things up, this is the last pair like boots or booties. These are from Steve Madden, they have a side V, so I thought these were really different and they look so flattering with the side V like that. And these do come in quite a few other color options. Steve Madden has been a tried and true brand for me as far as comfort of the shoe. Um, they're really beautiful and they have like a, as if they're about to make a pointed toe, but they square off in the front. All right, let's do like random cozy things and accessories. So first thing I wanna share are my slip scrunchies. Um, this is not the exact ones on the sale, but they have the slip scrunchies in a set on the sale. I did not need to grab any new ones right now, but these are just what I already had. 
just to show you guys. I love these so much. I have even more of them, but they're all around. You know how that is too, like with bobby pins and hair ties, like they just go MIA. And then you just randomly, they randomly pop up. Um, so those are great. And they even have a set of scrunchies with a pillowcase. I love silk pillowcases. They are just, it's, once you try one, you don't ever want to go back because it's just so good for like your skincare it doesn't absorb into your pillowcase. It just is better for your skin. Um, and it's just like, good for preventing wrinkles and it's also i heard really good my hairstylist said it's good for your hair too to sleep on a silk pillowcase okay and then i grabbed these um barefoot dream socks i thought these were a fun cozy addition i already have some barefoot dream socks so i think i might save these and hold them i'm like having a little box of like giftable items you ever guys ever do that where you have like random giftable items in a box and then you're just ready to go um in case something pops up or you want to put together a gift then you have some like your favorite things and already purchased so i liked these as like a gifting option so they're barefoot dreams i have been gifted barefoot dream socks i actually got a gift set of barefoot dream socks the eye mask and the scrunchie and a little like barefoot dreams pouch for christmas last year and i really love that set so they have that in the barbie edition for the sale right now i think they had it in the wild which is like the leopard theme and maybe in the solids, but I'll link those for you guys because I think they make great giftable items. So you could also buy the socks in a pack for under $20. You get two pairs and they're so soft and cozy. And I love this light neutral. Can't do a cozy section of this video without the Barefoot Dreams blankets. This is the In the Wild Throw, which is probably my favorite style of Barefoot Dreams blanket. Um, so this I've had for years and years. It's been washed a million times, it feels like, and it is still just is soft and plush and I love it so definitely one of these is a must-have in my opinion if you've been on the fence definitely grab one and they come in a ton of other colors also the bliss plush throws under $20 so good I've had mine for years and it's still holding up beautifully and I have this like cream color they also have a dusty rose and a bunch of other colors but you can't go wrong with these great giftable for under 20 you would never even know it was like $20 only um it just looks and feels so long. let's keep going with the cozy items let's do some pajamas and then I got a pair of undies too on the sale I think those are good staples to get um from the sale so let's do this Barefoot Dream set that just came in the mail, actually. I did not see this in my store, um, which I was really hoping to see, but they didn't have it. So I ordered this online. It is this really cozy, it's kind of like a lounge set slash pajamas. I probably would wear it more for around the house than I would wear it to bed. Um, but this is such a cozy set. I got the darker color. Um, it does come in a light color and I think one other color. I was be back and forth between like the cream and this and I'm glad I got this. So I sized up in it. I'm not sure if I necessarily needed to, uh, but this is the color Driftwood and this is regular almost $200 and it's down to 132. For Barefoot Dreams for a top and bottom for that price, I think is excellent price. And these are the pants. They're just like a straight leg bottom and they do have the pockets and it's that buttery soft material. Okay, I have to say in the Nordstrom Moonlit Pajama Selection, I was pretty disappointed. Um, I had at my eye on the pink stripe set and when I saw it in person, I personally did not love it at all. Actually, I didn't love the tones of it in person and I just, I don't know, just something about it I just personally didn't like, but if you like it, um, we all have different tastes. So um, yeah, I went for the Barbie pink and I love the style and material of these. I just wasn't, like thrilled about the selection. So I did get the Barbie pink though, cause I think the Barbie pink right now is just so major and I'm loving it. And so this is the set that I got, the shorts and the top, and they do have them in the longer pant options as well. But I did get the washable silk pajamas and I was so excited about these as these are so luxe, the material. I was actually not so sure like for full on silk pajamas if these were gonna be nice quality, especially that they're like washable, but this is like really nice quality. So that comes in a long sleeve with the pants or it also does come in a long sleeve top and shorts. 
I was actually thinking about ordering that, but I'm like, mm, I think I kind of like the pants in this set in particular better. And they're like lighter weight though. They're still very breathable. And they have the little fully functioning tie and they're so girly. They come in four colors total. And this is just, so darling, I think it comes in white too, which would be so cute if you're like a bride to be and then have like your bridesmaids in like a different color, like the blush pink would be so cute. Um, but yeah, definitely so pretty. And these are just a good everyday pajama. They're super girly and fun. And then just to kind of compare something a little bit similar, I got this set, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but I saw this little cami. I thought it initially only came with the cami and shorts, but you guys, and I got the pants. It came with pants too. And then I realized I looked them up and it, it was supposed to. I thought maybe it was a mistake, but it wasn't. So it's a three piece set. You get the cami, you get the shorts, and you get the long pants. And I thought these were really, again, girly, pretty pajamas. And this color is really pretty. It's like a champagne blush. And I thought that was really classic. And the back has the fully functioning. I mean, it's not the same quality as the washable silk. I still think the washable silk feel the most luxurious, but these are really nice too for, let me see if the price, only the original price is on here for 78, but it was less than that. So for three pieces, I thought that was an excellent price. Okay, and then every year I like to get the hanky panky, but I got a different style this year. I usually get the thongs and I already have enough of those. So I tried these boy shorts. I only got one just because I wanna try them, but I thought these were super adorable and I love the dusty pink lace, but the hanky panky, if you've never tried their undies before, definitely check them out. The thong is what I've already had love and um, have already so I did not need to get any but if you guys want to try them They've been in the top sellers every single Nordstrom sale So those are really good and then I just love this color and like the all-over lace for the boy short I thought those were adorable. Let's do Ugg favorites. So I got two different style Uggs So first up is the boots, but they are very different from anything I've ever owned from Uggs So I thought these were so fun with the chunky zipper You could also wear them kind of popped open like this with the little Ugg on the Side. it's very like it's not like in your face logo it's just like a cute little I don't know make different way to wear them if you want but I probably will mostly wear them zipped up like this but it's just sharing you have that option um it has like a tone on tone logo so it's very just like minimal and has a little tab on the back and I thought this like two-tone neutral was so cute I was really excited for these because I think they're really darling neutral boot and of course so cozy and then these ugg slippers i've been really into like the open toe mostly open toe slippers for the most part especially now for summer um these are really nice and um very cozy and these again i like the open toe it has like a double strap and these came in a few different colors but i got the cream these look really cute with those blush pink washable silk pajamas they look really cute together. Okay, outerwear. I'm actually, there's like two coats that I still did not ship yet. I or, overnighted all my stuff, but those were didn't qualify for overnight shipping. So I'm waiting on those. But this one I'm really excited to share because I didn't get it. I got this online and um, I didn't have it for my first haul. But this coat with the like pink quilted detail I thought was super cute and darling. Um, I just love this like it's more casual so it's like quilted it adds that like luxe look but it's still very casual and good for every day um i thought this ran a slight big oversized so if you're in between size down but i still got my regular size has a little hooded option bernardo i have been wearing since 2015 so their coats are amazing amazing quality i love their coats i bought my very first one like i said 2015 so it is well over eight years and I'm still such a fan of this brand. So I can't say enough about Bernardo. Let's do these two skirts. I love a good skirt for fall. I just love styling skirts with all the boots. So this plaid one, okay, I will say this is um, in limited stock in some sizing, but it is still available. So that's why I wanted to share because it is one of my top, top favorites. Um, this micro plaid has the pockets and the back has the elastic waist but the front has a smooth panel and it is really gorgeous and a, like a quintessential fall skirt. This one I did not see in the store. Um, this is the faux leather skirt from BP and I thought this was a, another good essential. I love this creamy tan color. It's just a nice basic again. 
and then the back does have the elastic. Okay, loafers are just insanely popular right now. I got a pair of loafers back in May um, on my one vacation right over there actually and so i'm now like obsessed with the loafers and these i recently got from nordstrom these are from dulce vita they're really comfortable and cute but then on the sale i just wanted to get these to compare for you guys um these are the ones on sale i will say the other ones are a tad more comfortable uh, but these are still like super cute i would size up a half size in these and these are like the suede material they're like a little bit like a chunkier look to them so they are super cute and i'm loving like i said if you're looking for a good loafer try out the dulce vita okay i'm only keeping one of these so i initially ordered these online when i did my order at midnight so i could overnight it so i could get these in time for you guys to try everything on but then i saw these in the store and then i was like okay i don't know now i need to like compare the two colors so these I got in store. This is like a chestnut color. And then these are a taupe kind of color here. So what do you guys think I should keep? What do you like better? The chestnut or like the taupe color? Vote below. I can't decide now because these add a nice pop. But then I also think these are just like a nice neutral too. Um, they're both really cute. These come in a couple other colors. They're the Sea Madame Mules with the little chain. These are popular every single year and for a reason because I still have my Sea Madden chain link mules from last year too. Um, so they're great. I love them so much. They're very comfortable. Okay, I didn't really get that many dresses on the sale. I didn't see too, too many. Um, but these really stood out to me. So this first one from Madewell, you could wear right now. It's gauze. It is a perfect dress to wear now and transition even into fall time with some booties. This navy is stunning and I just love Madewell's dresses. They're really easy and effortless. So that was really soft and comfortable. And then this one, I accidentally got a size up. Um, so as far as sizing, when you see it on me, you'll see how it fits as a size up, but I think it's gonna be a little boxier, but this is a good workwear dress. I had some requests for some workwear pieces, so I figured I'd try it for you guys. And it is this tie kind of wrap dress. It does have a like snap button right here to keep it shut, but it is a beautiful color for fall. So if you're looking for like a fall workwear piece or even for like Sunday best or fall photos, um, like for fall family photos, I think that would be really stunning to wear. Okay, sneakers, I already shared these in part one, but I feel like they deserve another <laughs> call out because they're so good. So these are the Nike, I don't know if there's like a name to them. Um, I don't see any name to them, but these are just like a Nike lightweight sneaker option. I love this color. I got my regular size in these and they're really, really cute. I love this pink. You guys, they did such a good job with the pinks on the sale this year. I think they did amazing, especially even with these sneakers. Now these I got just as like a running errands kind of sneaker. So they're not gonna be like, the comfort's not gonna be there. If you live in say, for example, like New York City and you're gonna walk like miles and miles, they're not gonna be a good sneaker for that. But if you're just like, you know, in your car, getting into the grocery store, walking around for a little bit, I think these would be fine for that. Um, but they're so pretty with this like dusty pink um, Nike symbol on it. And then the back has the pink tab. And then again, like on the tongue, the shoe, there's like all these like little pink accents, which I thought was really pretty. Um, these I found fit true to size. I heard though they are a little bit more of a narrow shoe. And I have a narrow foot, so I did get my regular size, but if you have a regular to wider width foot, I would try sizing up one in these. That is it for my Nordstrom anniversary sale haul part two, as well as my top favorites that are in stock. I'm hoping these stay in stock for you guys. Um, I try my best to review everything to make sure what I'm sharing is in at least decent to almost full stock in most sizing. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. If it was, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if anything restocks that is sold out, I will be sharing that in my LTK profile. That's what, where I'll post first. So if you wanna follow me over on the LTK app, it's totally free. Um, and I love utilizing that to share sale alerts with you guys and restocks and all my favorite things. Um, I post a lot on there. So if you wanna give me a follow there, I'll be sharing more Nordstrom sale finds and even just in general, all my favorites on there. All right, so I'm gonna end today's video here. I love you all so much and I will see you all in my next one very soon. Bye.